Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening. Canning recipes, a little bit of everything. It's that time of year, guys, in Texas when you wear long sleeve shirts, sweats, and jeans in the morning, and shorts and tank tops in the afternoon. Looky here, we got the overhead door up, we got one of the walls covered, and we got the vents in. And we got both of the side doors in today. They're going to uh, get started here really quick before the wind kicks in to put the plastic on the back wall, which will be our west wall. As for me, I'm headed to the grocery store this morning to see what's going on. Cases are ramping up here in Texas, especially in uh, Dallas County and Tarrant County. Yesterday, Tarrant County had over 600, I believe, and Dallas had over 400. So I'm eager to see what's happening. I think that I need to pick up some more things because if the cases continue to rise, it's gonna get to where I'm not gonna wanna uh, get out anymore. So stay tuned. Okay guys, let's go over what I saw today at the grocery store. This is our update. This is about seven, seven or eight weeks since my first grocery store update. So I did go by the medicine aisle and you can see the cold medicines are still um, okay. There's uh, some of them that there's only one or two in the front, but you can see that they're doing uh, pretty good. Let's move on to the dairy. Milks um, are looking a little slim. They were looking a little slim last time. Um, you can see that uh, there are some uh, that's, that's more available than others, but look at the gallon milk. It is uh, really taking a hit. Now, I'm at the grocery store right now at about 9 o'clock a.m. in the morning. I did not see a lot of stalkers like I did last time. Here is the sour cream and the dip aisle. Um, it's looking okay, but if you look real closely at that sour cream, there's not any uh, behind. It's all in front. And now we're going to go on over to the paper plate aisles. Um, these were still pretty good. These were uh, 10 for $10, so they were a dollar a piece. But check out these wet wipes up here. Uh, the canisters of wet wipes were $1.49, so I did pick up one of those. And notice that the ones in the uh, packs are $2.49. I am seeing an increase in grocery prices, and I'm going to show you where. Here's the cleaning aisle. Um, it's uh, taken a hit since last time, guys. Uh, the Mr. Clean that I got last time, I think it was only two back, uh, stocked two bottles back. I did pick up some pine salt. It was $1.99. And then here is the Clorox aisle. Um, they were fully stocked. It looks pretty good. So the Clorox spray, and then I picked up some Windex as well. Now we're going to move on and check out my Arm & Hammer Essentials Disinfectant Wipes. Guys, remember these were like $3.49 for 80 wipes just a couple of weeks ago, and look, they're already up to $4.99. Look to the left. Uh, those are the Home, the Kroger brand disinfectant wipes. Those are $3.69 for 35 wipes. So I picked up two more of the Arm & Hammer Essentials. I do think that these are going to go up in price, continue to go up in price, I should say. But uh, right now, they're still a good deal. So we uh, grabbed two more of those. Here is the egg aisle. Um, the eggs were looking okay. Um, some of them were, were hit. I didn't really see a price increase here. Um, I think I was able to get a dozen of the uh, Farm Fresh Organic Eggs for $1.99. So I did pick up some of those. And the toilet paper aisle is starting to show uh, some more dents. Um, I'm seeing that uh, they're not stocked very well and items that were stocked on the shelves um, were only one in front, and they were kind of mismatched. Um, there were toilet paper uh, packages that were in the, in the wrong place, so it looks like they're just trying to fill in the gap. So that's starting to take a hit. I'm surprised here. I do want to say that the paper towels still look to be okay. So moving on to the frozen food section, french fries are a little better stocked. I still see some empty spaces in there, but uh, they are better stocked than I've seen um, the last two trips. The vegetables, um, frozen vegetables are taking a little bit of a hit. You can see there's uh, some empty spaces there. So um, again, I'm glad to see that people are eating their veggies. Um, but still, there was a little bit of a price increase on these as well. Frozen pizza section. Totinos are fully stocked. Again, I have a Totino sister up there and I want to say hi to you. And uh, they were fully stocked. And... All their larger pizzas, like the Red Barons and their uh, their brands and the Tony's Pizza, they were all very well stocked. So frozen pizzas are looking okay here in the DFW area. 
breakfast aisle, I'm seeing plenty of the waffles, the frozen waffles, and uh, plenty of the uh, frozen pancakes and the sausage and biscuits. So they're getting a little bit better on those. You can see here, I've never heard of Vans. Um, I don't know where they came from. Maybe some of you guys can tell me where Vans is from. Leave a comment below so I know, because I don't think I've seen them here. One of the areas I've not reported on in the past are the breakfast bars and the protein bars, and they're looking pretty good, guys. These are great snacks for the kids. Be sure and pick some up if you see them um, for their lunch boxes or pick some up for your local pantry. And here is the dairy aisle, or some of the dairy aisle. This is the butters. They were all fully stocked, the margarines, the butters. I did pick up a, a pound of butter. I do get the Kroger brand, um, but it was a little bit increased in price. It was over $3 a pound. I'm used to paying between $2.59 and $2.99 a pound. And here's the cheese aisle, looking pretty good. Um, the prices there were, were pretty um, stable. I didn't see any kind of increase here. Um, I was able to pick up a pound of uh, cheese, I think for $3.99. The smaller packs were $3.49, so it was bigger for me, or better for me, to get the bigger pack. And the coffee aisle's looking a little slim, guys. This is the first time I've seen it looking slim. You can see that it's all pulled in front. There's not very much stocked behind. Here is the canning aisle. Um, they still have some, some jars. I did not pick it up any because I have plenty, but I did see that they had some pickling salt and uh, some of the pectin and stuff like that that you're gonna need for your canning. And uh, let's see here, yep. We see that there's plenty of canning, uh, canning salt up there. And there's a couple of jars of the fermenting kit from Ball, which is excellent, guys. I picked up one last go-round, and right now I'm fermenting some of my beautiful radishes that I picked out of the garden last weekend, eager to see how that goes. And here's the vinegars. You can see it's a little bit better stock, but there's still gaps in the shelf. So I'm sure you guys are still out there canning, and you need to continue to can, and you need to continue to pick up your canning supplies because there's a good chance come uh, spring that uh, you're going to have a hard time finding it. Not only spring, but for those of you that are growing Swiss chard and cabbage and stuff like that that you want to ferment, go ahead and pick up your supplies now. Here is the baking aisle. Um, I'm seeing a little bit bigger dent than I've seen in the past for the flour, and uh, sugar seem to be okay. I wasn't concerned about that. You can see here that the sugars are... Um, Pretty well stocked, but I will tell you that they're taking up less, less shelf space. Um, they The sugars used to go all the way um, down to where you see some of those frying mixes. So uh, they have decreased the size on the shelves for sugar. Um, and, and it looks like it's well stocked. But I think that um, as we move closer to the holidays, we need to be aware uh, to go ahead and get your stuff now. Here are the canned meats. Um, tuna. Uh, the salmon you can see up there on the right, it is taking a little bit of a hit. I still did not see any canned ham, uh, but we have plenty, so I'm okay with that. But um, I'd say that we're pretty okay with uh, the tuna and the canned chickens. And here are some of the canned goods. I did pick up some yams, and that's something you want to pick up now, guys, because the holidays are rolling around, and I have a feeling you're going to start to see a shortage. I looked for canned pumpkin because I'm hearing from some of you that uh, pumpkin is a little slim right now. And uh, so if you see it, pick it up. But I did some research on it and I wanna tell you guys that uh, they said the pumpkin harvest is a little late due, due to some uh, drought and due to also some heavy rain in the spring. So um, keep an eye out for your canned pumpkin, but go ahead and pick up your yams. So here is another area where I saw price increases, guys. It was the uh, canned goods. Uh, the Kroger brand canned goods uh, two or three weeks ago was 50 cents a can. They have gone up to 65 cents a can. That's 15 cents. It, it, it may not seem much, but uh, prices are on the increase. So uh, try to buy now. Stock your pantry before um, they get a little bit higher. Soups. Soups look to be doing pretty good. I do want to say that uh, there was an increase on, on soup prices. Um, I can usually get these for either for between 75 cents to a dollar a can, but uh, they are now a dollar 67 a can. This is where I saw the biggest increase is the poultry guys, the chicken. Um, two or three weeks ago, I got a chicken for eight dollars, which is about what I had been paying prior to all this mess that broke out. And uh, today I paid twelve dollars and thirty cents for a whole chicken. And I'll show you here in a minute how much I paid for chicken breast. 
Here's our produce section. It's looking pretty good. I did see a slight increase on some of this. I was having a hard time finding uh, lettuce heads, <laughs> surprisingly. So I'm so glad that I have some lettuce uh, planted in my fall garden out there. And here is that whole chicken that I paid $12.30 for. And these are the chicken breasts. And you can see here that I paid $12.39 for some chicken breast. Man, things are going up, guys. This toilet paper here, I bought uh, two or three weeks ago. I'm trying to remember when I went. I think it was uh, almost three weeks ago. Anyway, this was $2.50 for this same pack. And this time around, I paid almost $5 for this pack. So it's doubled, completely doubled. Here's some of the deals. So I stumbled on a little area in the corner of the store that I'd never seen before that had uh, uh, closeouts. This here, this Contadina diced uh, roasted garlic herb uh, tomatoes was 39 cents a can. You can bet I picked up on some of those. You can see here, there's my 39 cent price. And the great thing about it is, is it didn't expire until um, 2022. So these um, ha have some good shelf stable on them. And of course, we'll use them long before 1222. But start looking in the corners of the store. I was very surprised uh, when I saw this and um, that I had never seen it before, but these were the closeouts. So my tips for you now are to uh, consider ahead and think that uh, Thanksgiving is not very much longer away. It's probably about uh, five to six weeks away. So I went ahead and picked up my cream of mushroom soups, which I already had some, but I wanted to pick up more. I picked up yams. And I picked up uh, green beans and the uh, French's fried onions. And you know how much these French's fried onions were? They were five bucks, guys. Five dollars. But I'm going ahead and uh, getting my Thanksgiving things in order because I don't want uh, things to ramp up and maybe I'm not able to get to the grocery store. So I want to make sure I have everything I, ha I can get uh, to make sure and take care of my family for Thanksgiving. So here's my cleaning haul. You can see I did pick up some of the wet wipes. I picked up Pine Saw Clorox. Guess how much the Clorox was? It was $4. $4, guys. But I did pick up, uh, again, two of the Arm & Hammer Essentials uh, antiviral wipes, antibiotic wipes, uh, antibacterial wipes, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But remember, just a couple of weeks ago, these were $3.59, and I these are now $4.99. They are still cheaper than the Clorox wipes when you compare how many you get in the Clorox wipes and how much you pay. Okay, guys, that's the wrap. So you can see I got some good deals, and you can see that the prices are going up, and they're going way up on some items, especially poultry and the cleaning supplies. Surprised to see that the canning goods uh, were also going up, or the canned goods were going up. Start now to prepare for your Thanksgiving holidays and your Christmas holidays because you don't know what's going to happen between now and then. Again, cases are starting to ramp up here in the DFW area, so we are uh, prepared now to make sure and be able to uh, prepare a good Thanksgiving dinner uh, for our friends and family. We're hoping that we're going to get to be able to meet. Our, our parents are both elder, uh, but we will take every precaution necessary to try to meet with them and try to enjoy our Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Such a different year, guys. But anyway, um, it's still a little cool here in Texas. Um, it's about 50 degrees. We've got a wind going. The sun has gone away. You can see at the beginning of the video that we had quite a bit of sun. It's gone now, and it's windy, and it's cool. So I still have on my jeans and my sweatshirt. No shorts today. So prepare. Start to prepare. Um, as the cases ramp up, Chances are I won't be making it to the grocery store. Um, I'll be hunkering down, and uh, we'll just see what happens between now and uh, the end of the year, but we're prepared. I want you to be prepared, too. High Tunnel's coming along great, guys. We, uh, we plan on canning a bunch of our stuff that's coming up. I've got some cabbage. I've got some kale. I've got some Swiss chard. I've got radishes. I've got carrots. So excited. If you, if you have not started a garden, it might be a little too late for, for the fall, but you want to start preparing now for your spring garden. Go ahead and start getting your seeds on order and getting your canning supplies. We appreciate each and every one of you. We want to continue these updates. And I want to ask my subscribers to go ahead and comment below and tell me what you're seeing in your area. And I would like to have some pictures because I want to do a video and show 
um, other people what's going on around the nation. So if you have some pictures or some video of your local grocery stores, please email me at hbjtexas2020 at gmail.com. That's hbjtexas2020 at gmail.com. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll cont uh, continue to keep you updated, and we'll show you what's going on. Uh, with our with our grocery stores and we'll show you what's going on with the garden and we want to help you learn to garden yourself Have a wonderful weekend. God bless hit that subscribe button